Hello and welcome. Amid all the hustle and bustle of Marseille, we find this wonderful football theatre, the Orange Vélodrome. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's France versus Argentina. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays alongside Lucas Hernandez in central defence. Paul Pogba plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And up front, Kylian Mbappe plays alongside Karim Benzema. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. And now they get the ball rolling. Maneuvering forward is Griezmann. Here's Marcos Acuna. Martinez. And a long way out. Well, flinging himself at it. It's a short corner. Messi. Well read to put an end to that attack. Rodrigo Javier de Power. And the emphasis is on creativity but really sticking to the task defensively. Poor pass under no real pressure. Martinez. Here's Lo Celso. And moving the ball nicely. Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Kunku, Griezmann, now Conte, must take the lead here, not high quality defending. Messi, Montiel. Now with Messi, De Powell. Oh. 
And played in. And the danger is still there. Vigorous defending. Messi. What a save. Well, they fancy a short one. Lo Celso. Takes on the shots. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's a special, special goal from miles out. Well, let's take another look, because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it, he couldn't have hit that any better. So France get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Benzema. Here's Mbappe. But he's got past his man. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Mbappe. Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So, a level contest. 1-1. Mbappe, Pogba, here's Mbappe, Pogba, the game has been turned on its head, they have never stopped believing and now they sense victory. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And the finish is so clinical. He just rolls it past the keeper. Cool as you like. So there we have it. 2-1. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Doesn't want to give it away here. Well, as you can see, France have had much less of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Well, a poor pass it was. No getting away from it. Throw in here. Martinez, this could square the game, but the keeper has his say, and how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that, but let's give credit to the goalkeeper, it's a decent save. Taken short. Lo Celso. Makes his way in field. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, it's been a good watch so far. Both sides have tried to play on the front foot, 
but they do look more threatening in the attacking areas. And in my view, they deserve to be in front. Di Maria. Went in strongly, decisively. Benzema takes it forward now. Oh, a nice looking pass. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Paredes. The ball with Martinez. Oh, an easy one to cut out, really. Rafael Varan. Here's Hernandez. Paul Pogba. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Di Maria. Could play it in. Not showing good vision. Paredes. Martinez. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, no matter where Paul Pogba lines up in midfield, you've got to be conscious of what he's doing on the pitch. And he's delivering here, Stuart. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Roselso. Effective challenge. Messi. Will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Cuts it back. Determined defending. Big chance to get them on terms. And danger still. Well, it could have been, but for the offside flag. Losing possession a bit easily. Might really be able to trouble them here. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they take advantage of the situation? Mbappe. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Has eyes for goal! Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. And the corner kick it is. France pushing to add to their lead. Playing it short. Conte putting his body on the line. Good effective pressure high up the pitch. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Conte. Roselso. Marcos Acuna. Maria wanted to keep it but couldn't might be able to get in behind the defence Messi a 
and a tidy challenge. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Benzema. Now Griezmann. Benzema. Now Griezmann. Griezmann with it. Oh, my goodness. What an outrageous hit. I can't believe he took it on from there. And neither can the goalkeeper. Well, just look at this strike again. He hits it so well. That's a great bit of skill. No wonder he's pleased with himself. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Paredes. Now with Gomez. He's lost it. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his book in there. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Can't argue with that little move. And the keeper had the measure of that one. Gonzalo Montiel. Now with Messi. Promising avenue of attack favoured by Messi. Montiel. Now, what can they do from here? Di Maria. Options in the middle. Martinez. Gomez. Opportunity. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Fired over by Messi. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. In search of space. And throwing himself up the ball. Well, opting for the short corner. Gonzalo Montiel. And now, passing it through. Well, no threat posed by the cross. Chouameni. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle, and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control possession for these final few minutes to cap off a really good display. Good strength to keep the ball. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Chouameni. Conte. Aurelien Chouameni. On to Benzema. And the keeper reacting just as we would have expected.
Rodriguez. De Powell. Now with Gomez. Counter attacking, very much an option. And let's give credit to the defending. Mbappe. Unable to keep the ball that time. They need to get tighter. Nicely timed tackle. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Absolutely, Derek. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, it's no accident that the cameras are zooming in on Antoine Griezmann after what he offered tonight. Well, he scored a good goal, and if I was his coach, I certainly wouldn't be worried by him missing a couple of chances. The fact is, he was a constant threat today.